this is what it's going to look like when you remove your tattoo in a unsafe and stupid way. Oh, that must hurt a whole damn lot. So, if you remove your tattoo with salt, you're going to hurt yourself. Removing a tattoo with salt is one of the stupidest things you can do. Honestly, it's, it's nothing more than damaging your skin. So removing a tattoo with salt basically works. So you grab a handful of salt together with some water and with a piece of paper or sandpaper or whatever you like, you can rub the salt into your hand or into your uh, tattoo. Because of the friction, the layers of your skin get worn down until you finally reach the ink of your tattoo and then you scrape off the ink of your tattoo. That's what it is about, but doing it is incredibly dangerous. You've probably heard of that effect in biology that salt pulls out water. And if you put salt on your skin, the skin gets dehydrated and especially if you damage your skin first and then put salt in the, on a damaged skin you're going to have permanent scars forever <clears throat> and you will not be able to get rid of these scars no matter what removing a tattoo with salt is the stupidest thing you can do please don't do it there are some YouTube videos that show you how to do it, but they are all nonsense. Everything they do is they grab a handful of salt, mix it with some water and then rub it onto the tattoo. It takes about 40 minutes to get the skin worn down enough to scrape down the tattoo ink to finally see some results. But until you see that result, you will have 40 minutes of pain. 40 minutes of pain. That's incredible. And not only that, after you stop rubbing your tattoo off, I bet you that the tattoo will not be removed perfectly. It is not possible to remove a tattoo on the first try without any um, rests or stains. Let's say I have a tattoo here and I remove it with salt. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that I miss some spot on my skin and after the healing process that takes weeks you will see that there's one spot left and you have to start all over again. Removing a tattoo with salt is the most unreliable, most painful, most stupid idea to remove a tattoo. But what are the, uh, the alternatives? Alternatively, you often see online that removing a tattoo works by using lemon juice. So you can either rub lemon juice on your skin and hope that it that the tattoo fades, or you can rub your skin with salt, wear the layers of your skin down a little and then put lemon juice on it. Is that a good idea? Absolutely not. I'm so sorry that I'm so critical about these uh, things but they don't make any sense whatsoever. First you damage your skin with salt by rubbing your skin layers off and then dehydrating it and then you put lemon juice which is very acidic on your skin cells, you can bet that this will leave scars that you will wear for a lifetime. And no surgeon, no doctor, nobody will ever be able to fully remove these scars. There are basically two ways to effectively remove a tattoo. The first one is very expensive. It's the laser removal. 
Everybody knows about the laser removal, it's the most common way you get to a, you go to a doctor or a nurse or someone. Basically you go to someone who owns such a laser machine to, uh, to clean your tattoo. You pay him $200 or $500 depending on the rates of him to remove your tattoo. And then you have multiple sessions, up to 5 sessions, to have your tattoo removed. In total it will cost about $2000, but then after your skin is healed, you will have a good result. Your tattoo will be gone. Now, what I don't like about this approach is that at first you have to pay a lot of money. You have to pay $2,000 for a tattoo removal, whereas getting a tattoo costs just $50, $100, maybe $200, depending on what you get, maybe even $500. But removing a tattoo is much more expensive than getting one. And that's what I don't really understand and don't really like, because in my opinion, creating and making a good tattoo needs much more skill than removing one. The second method to remove a tattoo is one you can do at home. It's the one that I use to clean off my tattoo and it's one that I think makes the most sense for most people. It's about following a certain step-by-step -step formula that you follow for a few weeks. You eat certain things and if you eat these things in the right combination, in the right amounts, then the nutrients and acids that you consume, they will be able to flush out the ink of the tattoo naturally. Basically, it works like this. The ink of a tattoo is trapped between the layers of your skin. Now, these layers are very rarely reached by anything. There is very little blood flowing through it and there's very little water flowing through a tattoo. That's why a tattoo lasts for so long. A tattoo lasts a lifetime. Now I did it in a way that allowed my body to activate certain activities in my body to enter the layers between the skin that reach just the tattoo and then flush out the, the ink. Now, it's like, imagine you have a dried out river and finally you flush water through it. Of course, the stones that were on the dried out river will start rolling. And that's, with, that's the same with the tattoo ink. You have that layer of skin and nothing ever reaches it. And finally, after years, something flushes it because you activate certain things. With certain nutrients we can enable body activity and this body activity will help us remove or fade the tattoo. For me it took just two days to have my tattoo fully faded and I started seeing the results after just a few hours. If you want to know how I did it exactly then check the link in the description below. You will find a step-by-step ebook that explains everything in full detail. Now, I found that ebook by recommendation of a cousin who is a tattoo artist and he said that this is the only practical and healthy way you can do it. So, check the description for the link to the tattoo removal guide. It's absolutely worth it. Anyways, with certain foods and nutrients you actually you enable certain body activities it's like when you eat nuts the fats are able to help your brain think when you eat sugary food the the sugar helps your body be more active and when you eat other things they enable your body to cleanse your skin and that's how flushing it into works it's a completely natural stra strategy and in my opinion it's a thousand times better, if not 100,000 times better than rubbing your skin with salt or putting lemon juice on it or having it laser removed. Anyways, if you like this video about different tattoo removal methods you can use, 
then smash the like button, share your opinion with me. I will be totally open to discussion. I love this topic and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.